بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم Some philosophers and so-called Urafa say that we accept that normal people cannot comprehend God cannot understand Almighty God's knowledge or actually limit his power but those who are knowledgeable can actually <clears throat> philosophers and Arafa so-called Arafa or Sufiya can actually comprehend Allah can understand Allah Amir al-Mumin states that you are wrong Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot be described by anyone or anything because he's beyond everyone's imaginations. <coughs> Amin Amin Alayhi Salaam states, اعلم أن الراسخين في العلم هم الذين Those who has got, who rooted actually in the knowledge. Who has got very deep root in knowledge. الراسخ في العلم. اعلم أن الراسخين في العلم. So Amir Mumin is talking about those who have actually deep knowledge. Perfect people. اعلم أن الراسخين في العلم هم الذين أغناهم الله عن الاقتحام في السدد المضروبة دون الغيوب. They see themselves that they don't need actually to go and think and use their thoughts in the field that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that they cannot use their thoughts and cannot think about, such as God. فلازم الإقرار بالجملة ما جهل تفسيرهم الغيب المحجوب فقالوا آمنا به كل من عند ربنا. So they say, okay, Allah, we see your signs. We believe that you exist. We don't know how do you exist. We don't know how you created us. When you how, we don't know how you started this universe. We don't know. <coughs> we don't know how you actually uh, make us die, resurrect us, change the dust to human beings on the day of judgment. We don't know all of that, but we accept it. As long as you're telling us that, we accept it. فمدح الله عز وجل اعترافهم بالعاجز عن تناول ما لم يحيطوا به علما وسمى تركهم التعمق فيما لم يكلفهم البحث عنه منهم رسوخا okay. <clears throat> when they admitted that they cannot actually comprehend almighty God or those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them that you cannot understand that, they admit that we cannot understand that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will consider their admit as if they as if they understand that thing. So we'll he will accept it as comprehending. And he will call it rusukh. They rooted in knowledge. فاقتصر على ذلك فاقتصر على ذلك okay. it's sufficient for you to admit that you are you don't have enough power enough strength to comprehend Allah فاقتصر على ذلك ولا تقدر عظمة الله سبحانه على قدر عقلك فتكون من الهالكين do not limit Almighty God's Highness within your knowledge, your wisdom, your intellect, because you're going to actually uh, drag yourself to hell. See? When Amir Mumin wants to describe 
how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created things. He states, Kullu sana'i shay'in faman shay'in sana'a. Wallahu la man shay'in sana'a ma khalaq. If we want to create anything, we have to create that thing from a thing. If you want to <coughs> invent an airplane, a train, a chair, whatever, you have to use materials. You cannot actually invent the material of what you want to create or build or manufacture. So as creations of God, we cannot actually invent. <clears throat> we cannot actually create things not from a thing. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not like us. If we create anything, we create it from a thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has invented. Invented the material which he has created everything from that material. What that material was before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invented it was nothing. Nothing. No space, no place, no time. How can we understand that? We cannot understand that. How can we comprehend that? It's impossible for us to comprehend that. <clears throat> How can we think what was going on before time, before space? We cannot do that because we live within time and space limitations. We cannot go beyond that. So if we cannot understand that, does that mean that we have to deny it? Of course not. Because we can see the sign. And our intellect world is, is, is leading us to a conclusion. And that conclusion is very important. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not like us. The creator cannot be like his creations. So whatever descriptions Almighty God's creations have cannot be applied on Almighty God. We can understand that. And that's why we cannot actually, or we have to admit that Almighty God cannot be described as his creations described. Then Amin Mu'min states, كل عالم فمن بعد جهل تعلم والله لم يجهل ولم يتعلم So every knowledgeable person was an ignorant person one day. والله أخرجكم من بطون أمهاتكم لا تعلمون شيئا When we came out out of the womb of our mothers we didn't have any knowledge. Then we start to learn step by step. كل عالم فمن بعد جهل تعلم. We used to be ignorant and then we learned. والله لم يجهل ولم يتعلم. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not like us. He wasn't an ignorant and he did not learn anything. He knows everything without learning. أحاط بالأشياء علما قبل كونها فلم يزدد بكونها علما. So he surrounds everything with his knowledge. So when he has created things, he, his knowledge didn't increase by creating his creations. He knew his creations before he created them and after he created them. And creating his creations won't actually add up to Almighty God's knowledge. Won't increase Almighty God's knowledge. Almuhu biha qabla an yukawwinaha ka almihi ba'da takwinaha. Almighty God's knowledge about his creations before he created them is like after he's created them. The same. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't change at all. He's full of knowledge. Of course, this description isn't that accurate. 
Allahu samad He's full of knowledge, full of power. His essence is power. His essence is knowledge. And that's why he won't, uh, in, he won't uh, increase any of his descriptions by creating things. And then I mean, when he states, لم يكونها لتشديد سلطان ولا لخوف ولا خوف من زوال ولا نقصان. إن شاء الله we'll describe that in our next session. Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم.